Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Be still just a second. Be still. Be still. Be still. Go back 40 years. It worked for you. I wasn't born yet. Forty years ago, a young Barry Creighton was dancing with a beautiful young lady named Judy Cox at the Cambridge, Maryland Rescue Fire Company, Roman Lake. Just songs like that. Forty years ago, Terre Haute, Indiana, a young lad named Harry Kellett formed a band called The Five Chords. He was joined by Jerry Woodward, Arlie Price, Jim Padgett, and Glenn Ferris. On and off. That was the original band. Uh, and uh, in 1960, if I get my years right, uh, they went off to the Pacific for three months as part of the USO show and sang and entertained. But you could hear that kind of music. <clears throat> Maybe people called it jazz music or jazz combo, maybe doo-wop, uh, but it was all kinds of music. And uh, a year later, on several record labels, uh, Suma, uh, so or Soma, Kuma, I think, and Bacon, uh, record labels, they recorded several songs. Harry was uh, a, a vocalist, a pianist, and a saxophone player. And uh, today we're going to be treated to a couple of those. Well, and a com quote comedian, unquote. <laughs> uh, and we're going to get treated to some of that today. And I'm excited uh, and also glad that because it's the northern migration of geese uh, this time of year, we're not going to hear the saxophone. So that's probably a good thing. We'd be having more geese in here. Than we but, uh, but our own Harry Kelly, what a treat we have. In store for all of us. Um, we know Harry as a member of our choir, active member of our church, a leader in the community, a successful businessman. Um, but uh, Harry has worn many hats in his life, and a uh, professional musician is, is one of those hats. He has a heart for this church, Francis Asbury United Methodist Church, and uh, we are all privileged as members of that church, those of us that are, to have him in our midst and those guests. Uh, this is, this is a face of our church, and uh, we're so proud of him. He has a big heart. Uh, he has a strong message of devoting talents, time, and treasures to the church. And uh, today, uh, Harry has asked that if donations come to your heart and you feel like that's what you, you'd like to make some, some uh, appreciation known for his talent, uh, that all of those proceeds will go toward the missions of this church the outreach to the community and those in need. So there's some baskets in the back, and that's the last time we're gonna mention that. But if you feel it in your heart to do that, that would, that would be wonderful. And Marsha wants to say something, as always. Go ahead. Well, and you correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as accolades and history go for Harry, I believe he's also a member of the Indiana Music Hall of Fame. Thank you. Now, I challenge you all, if you want to hear the, the real old stuff, uh, go on YouTube and do a search on The Five Chords, Indiana, or The Five Chords, Terre Haute. I'd like to add one thing. His mother was also a professional, or she was also a 
inducted into the Indiana Music Hall. Wow. Well, so, so there's where the genes come from. <laughs> okay, so sit back. Um, uh, I mentioned Harry was a pianist. I mentioned a saxophone player, a vocalist, also a writer. And I think you'll be surprised, pleasantly surprised, sometime during the show as uh, as we find out a few more secrets you didn't know about Harry Kent. So without further ado, oh, and lastly, thank you, David. Silence your phones, please, if you have them. Uh, Harry's got a very short memory. We don't want him to be distracted. <laughs> it's a good memory. It's just short. Okay. okay. Uh, join with me. Welcome into the stage, Harry Kent. You all came dressed casual. I was going to make sure that nobody came. Uh, I wanted to wear flip flops, but uh, they wouldn't let me know. And I, I want to thank uh, Barry. Barry came over yesterday and helped me set up and carry the equipment. And uh, it's getting so bad now I can't even lift anything. But uh, Lord, <laughs> if I'd have known there were so many good looking women here, I'd have worn my hair. <laughs> Uh, Barry is, has become my personal manager, and uh, I'd like to do a little plug for some of the show. Barry's responsible for me being here today. Um, I'd like to let you know that on November the 13th, I'll be appearing at the Norva Theater in Norfolk. On uh, November the 20th, I'll be at the Sandler Center for the Performing Arts. And on uh, November the 24th, I'll be playing the men's room at the Greyhound bus station. <laughs> So Barry, thank you so much. It's, it's so nice for you to do this for me. I'm, uh, I'm going to be singing some songs that you may remember. I'm going to be doing some songs that you don't remember. And I'll probably be doing one or two that you hope you never remember. <laughs> well, let's get this thing started. I brought my band with me. And we'll get them all queued up here. And we'll go, boy, if I could see, I'd be all right. Ah. Oh, went to sleep on me. How do you like that? There. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll get him going in a second here. I know you do that. Let's see if we're ready now. Ah, Barry Manilow, 1979. You know I can. Without you, I can't smile without you. I can't laugh and I can't sing. I find it is hard to do anything. You know I feel sad when you're sad. I feel glad when you're glad. If you only knew what I I just can't smile without you. You came along just like a song and frightened my day. Who'd have believed that you were part of a dream? Now it all seems like you're no way. i 
pretty soft, pretty soft. No. Now, we'll get something straight. You don't clap for me. Otherwise, you're going to be here until 7 o'clock. Frank is still up. It's nice to see you. Uh, so, no clapping. I, I would... Uh, I would like you to do something now. I'd like you to forgive it. I'm sorry, Ed, because you all think this is water. <laughs> I was talking to a Baptist the other day, and I said, do you know the difference between a Baptist and a Methodist? He says, yeah, you all drink. But uh, I want you to think now that you're in the 1950s, and this is a supper club. This is not a social hall. Uh, that's where I got my start. Of course, in the 1950s, the supper club was a polite way of saying a bar. And I want you to imagine that you're sitting at your little table, and there's a candle in the middle of the table. You've just finished your meal. The lights darken, and the spotlight comes on, and the entertainer walks out. Ah, scared me. <laughs> and he sits down, and he does this. What good was sitting alone in your room? Come hear the music play. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Come to the cabaret. Put down the ditty, the book, and the broom. Time for a holiday. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Come to the cabaret. Come taste the wine. Come hear the band. Come blow your heart, start celebrating. Right this way, your table's waiting. No use permitting some profit of doom to wipe all your smiles away. Life is a cabaret, old child. Come to the cabaret. Right this way, ladies and gentlemen, to the cabaret. Every night, featuring a different singer. Tonight, we have Frank Sinatra, Barry Manilow, Bobby Darren. Rudy Valley. Who? Huh? Come taste the wine. Come hear the band. Come blow your heart, start celebrating. Don't let life be a good baby. Good for sitting alone in your room. I'm glad you came my way. If you drink champagne with caviar, or you get stuffed from an old fruit jar, if you came in a pickup or a Rolls Royce car, welcome to the cabaret. Um, I was talking about the singers, Sinatra, Manilow. Um, there's a lot of famous singers during the, 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 the 20th century. Uh, one you may not remember is a fellow named Al Cholson. Cholson had a few songs now, but like I say, you may not remember the name, but you may remember some of these. Swanee, how I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swanee. I give the world to be among the folks in the annex. I even know my man be waiting for me, praying for me down by the swanee. The folks up north will see me no more. When I get to that swanee, I get to that swanee, I get to that swanee shore. No evil showers may come your way. They bring the flowers and bloom in May. So where is spring? Have no regrets because it isn't raining when you see it's raining by romance. And when you see clouds, up on the hill, you soon will see clouds of death or deals. So keep on looking for a bluebird and listen for his song whenever April showers, ever April showers. Every April showers, 
comes along. Rock a line, your baby, with a Dixie Hello dear. When you croon, croon a tune, I'm from the heart of Dixie. Just hang that cradle man be mine. Right on that Mason Dixon line and swing it from Virginia to Tennessee with all the love that's in ya. We go on, my lady, sing that song for me. So soft and low, just as though you had me on your knee. A million baby kisses I'm going to deliver The minute that you play the Tony River Rock of mine, your rock of my baby With a Dixie melody I'm coming I hope I didn't make you The sun shines west. I know where that sun shines west. Since most of you know my wife, Patty, she uh, had a wreck the other day. And I said, you ran into a tree. I said, didn't you see it? She said, I blew the horn. <laughs> but that's not as bad as a couple of weeks ago. Somebody stole her car. She was at Food Lion. She came walking out. I said, well, did you see the guy? Did you get a description? She says, no, but I got the license plate number. <laughs> we were talking about Barry Manilow. Let's see if you remember this, if I can cue this up rightly. And we'll go with number two. Why is that not doing? There it is. Here we go. See if you remember this one. Sound familiar? Oh, the shark has such teeth here. And it shows them pearly white. Just a jackknife. As old Mac keeps there, and he keeps it up out of sight. You know when that shark bites, 
with his teeth big, scarlet pillows, starts to spread, fancy gloves on, wears old man teeth big, so there's never, never a trace of red on that sidewalk. Sunday morning, lies a body, just dudes in the line, and someone sneaking around the corner. Could that someone be Mac the Knife? There's a tugboat down by the river, where a cement bag just a group went on down. Did you tear an old Mac kids back in town? Did you hear my boy Miller? He disappeared, baby. After drawing out all his honor. And now Mac kids stand like a sailor. Could it be a boy that something like starts, you know exactly what it is. White Christmas, uh, God Bless America. Let's see if you, when I start this thing, if I can get it started, if you know what this one is. I think you may, I think it has to do with somebody named Sinatra. <gasps> Thank you. 
George Burns had a, uh, made, a, made a hit out of this uh, when he was 91 years old. And it's, the name of the song is I Wish I Was 18 Again. And it, it, it got me thinking as I'm approaching my 45th birthday. <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> uh, I, got, I, have, I have some thoughts about getting old I want to share with you. Let me get back to the piano. Some thoughts about getting old. Kidnappers are not interested in you. <laughs> People call at 9 o'clock at night and ask, did I wake you? In a hostage situation, you're likely to be released first. You quit holding in your stomach when you walk into a room. You sing along with elevator music. I love this one. Your secrets are safe with your friends because they can't remember them anyway. <laughs> Another thought, things that you buy now won't wear out. Your eyes won't get much worse. You can eat supper at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But I do have some words of advice for all of you. Never take a sleeping pill and a laxity at the same time. <laughs> At a bar down in Dallas, an old man chimed in, and I thought he was out of his head. Just being a young man, I just laughed it off when I heard what that old man had said. He said, I'll never again turn the young lady's heads or go running off into the wind. I'm three quarters home from the start to the end, and I wish I was 18 again. I wish I was 18 again, going where I've never been. But old folks and old folks standing tall just pretend I wish I was 18 again. Now time turns the pages. Life goes so fast, the years turn the black hair all gray. I talk to some young folks, they don't understand the words that this old man's got to say. I wish I was 18 again, going where I've never been. But old folks and old oaks stand it all just to pretend. I wish I was 18 again. Yes, I wish I was 18 again. How true. These, uh, thank you for not clapping. Thank you, I appreciate that. These uh, next group of songs I had a little something to do, do with. Uh, in my day, um, I, I think I started, I was telling Ken, or I was talking to somebody, I think I started writing songs when I was like, 16 years old. That's about the same time I started playing in bar, uh, supper clubs. <laughs> uh, and uh, when uh, we formed my group called the Five Chords, we had been together, some of us had been together in uh, high school. And then uh, we kind of got together, I went to college, some of the guys went off uh, before I, I left. And we formed this group called the Five Chords. And I had a trumpet player named Jerry Woodward, now deceased unfortunately, so many of them are gone. But Jerry was a prolific songwriter. He would come in, we'd have practice, we'd practice. And he'd come in and he'd say, Harry, I've got this song. And he'd, say, he'd sit down to play it, or he'd say, listen to these words. And we would write a song. And I, not to be uh, sad, but when we lost uh, Ken Godfrey, I wrote a song for, for Ken, and I was going to do it. And it's not a very happy song, but Patty said, you know, probably not. Uh, but I'll do that a little bit later. But I want you to see if you remember any of these songs. Tra la 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 Happy birthday, sweet 16. Two nights a night I've waited for Because you're not a baby anymore You turned into the prettiest girl I've ever seen Happy birthday, sweet 16. Oh, I guess they're gonna go. How a young heart really feels. And 
just why I love you so. Venus, if you will, please send a little girl for me to thrill. A girl who wants my kisses in my arms, a girl with all the charms of you. Put your head on my shoulder, whisper in my ear, baby. Words I want to hear, tell me that you love me too. So young and your soul, this Diana, I've been told, I don't care just what they say, cause forever I will pray, you and I will be as free as the birds up in the trees, oh please stay with me. your house late last night all the shades were cold and dry way down tight from within the dim light cast two silhouettes on the shade of the they come home they made it silhouette 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 two silhouettes on the shade I shall to tell you, we would uh, we would write the songs. Of course, we were never established, and we would we would sell them. Ken, you might remember this. We would sell them to what they called song brokers uh, or song pluggers in New York City, and then they would find somebody, some up and coming star, and get them to record it. They change a couple of words, uh, a couple of uh, notes, and uh, then they would say written by. I saw a thing the other day. I really had to laugh. Uh, it was a song that Elvis Presley uh, recorded, and it said, words and music by such and such and Elvis Presley. I can tell you, Elvis never wrote a song in his life. <laughs> he didn't go to, to read the music. But I talked about doing a song earlier uh, that I tried to do for Ken Godfrey. It's a beautiful song, and I hope you listen to the words. It's called My Friend. <laughs> Is a king of all kings, and yet my friend walks beside me. My friend rules the earth and the sun, and yet my friend stops to guide me. My friend takes my hand just when all appears in vain, and makes it plain through joy and pain. My friend, my friend tells me life is a road and though it ends at the bend end, my friend tells me then there's a road beyond this road that's unending. Someday when I walk up that happy road that lies around the bend who will be there to welcome me my friend my friend tells me life is a road and though it ends at the bending my friend tells me there there's a road beyond this road that's an ending one day, when I walk up that happy road that lies around the bend, who will be there to welcome me, my friend, my friend? Isn't that a gorgeous song? That's a gorgeous song. No, 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 no. I, uh, I've got to 
take a second here and uh, see what Patty put in this. <laughs> good Lord, what you doing? <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, of all the songs that I have written, there's a few that I didn't like that I kind of wish that I had. And I, I'd like to tell you some of the some of the song titles. Uh, I got them written down so I'll remember. Uh, this is one, How Can I Miss You When You Won't Go Away? <laughs> if the phone doesn't ring, darling, you'll know it was me. I'm so miserable without you, it's like having you here. I'm sorry I made you cry, darling, but at least your face is cleaner. Take me out to the cornfield, honey, and I'll kiss you between the ears. When you leave, walk out backwards so I'll think you're walking in. If you won't leave me alone, I'll find someone who will. <laughs> All the oil is in Texas, but the dipsticks are in D.C. <laughs> if I'd have shot you when I wanted to, I'd have been out by now. <laughs> but my all-time favorite song is this one. So, so men, you, you may want to reach over and hold her hand if she's your wife. Or you may want to slip your arm around her shoulder and whisper, Honey, this is from me to you. You say that I don't love you. You say that my love is untrue. Well, darling, if I were a rich man, I'd prove my love to you. I'd buy you a diamond ring or a new fur coat or two. If my nose was running money, I'd blow it all on you. <laughs> if my nose was running money, I'd blow it all on you. I'd buy you a Cadillac and the new Mercedes too. I'd build you that mansion upon that mountain top. If my nose was running money, but honey, it's not. <laughs> If my nose was running money, let me tell you what I'd do. I'd buy you a John Deere tractor, and we'd get rid of that old gray mule. I'd carry you down to the store, and buy you a pair of shoes, so you won't have to plow barefooted the way you always do. <laughs> if my nose was running money, we could have anything we please. The first time that you wanted cash, all I'd have to do is sneeze. Why, we'd be living high on the hog, and the hog wouldn't be so mean. If my nose was running money, we'd be rolling in the green. It's a booger of the problem that I got. I wish my nose was running money, but honey, it's not. I'd buy you that Cadillac and a new Mercedes, too. If my nose was running money, I'd blow it all on you. If my nose was running money, I'd blow it all on you. A love song. Uh, speaking of love songs, I'd like to do one. Sinatra brought this out in uh, 1979. And you know, you can't sing a love song without somebody to sing it with you, too. So, Ramona, come on up here. <laughs> no, no, come on, no, no, really. Look, no, come on. I promise I won't embarrass you much. <laughs> I need your help. Come on. You're always saying. Uh, <laughs> Sinatra brought this out in 1979. And let me cue this up here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get nervous. Don't get I have got you. Look 
the fisher <laughs> Deep in the heart of me So deep in my heart That you won't really be a I try so not to give in. I said to myself, this affair, it ain't gonna go nowhere. But how can I try to resist when, darling, I know so well I've got you under my skin. Sacrifice anything from what my mother said. I'm holding you near in spite of the wonderful boy that comes in the night out of you. Are you allowed to dance in the method of church? <laughs> oh, you are? He sits down. So uh, at my age, I should have been sitting down an hour ago. <laughs> Let's see if you remember this one. This is also Sinatra. I think this is probably the last true Sinatra that he recorded. And it goes something like this. The end was near, and so I faced that final curtain. My friend, I'll state my case. I'll make it clear. Of this I'm certain. I live a life that's full. I've traveled each and every highway. I did what I had to do 
songs and I would uh, when uh, Wynn Lawson for those of you who remember Wynn was in Lake Taylor I would go down and do shows and Wynn always sang these last two songs with me so if you know him sing along oh I got awful quiet okay. <laughs> this is another trick song well maybe no <laughs> Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of rain, for purple mountains red.
Thank you for coming. I hope you have a good time. Thank you.